Or well, something. yeah, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's sometimes when you do it, the painted ice can make things a little difficult. The, the puck was yeah. bouncing around a little bit there. Yeah. Um, I thought the first period was two teams kind of feeling themselves out after, you know, the long all-star break. Okay. Um, I thought the second period, we really started to pick it up probably with about eight minutes left in the second there. We really we were pressuring the puck and we were cycling and kind of gained those power plays. And then in the third, we, you know, we finally got that, the, the goal from McFarland there, which was a nice play by, hustle play by Selleck tracking it down, throwing it down, and Gomes making a nice little touch pass to McFarland. And then we kind of went into typical last year's rampage and hold on. You know, we back in, we protect the middle of the ice, try not to give up too much uh, high-end scoring chances and rely on your goaltending, and Marky was good again. Yeah, yeah, you know, goal scorers have those knacks. You know, he was a goal scorer in juniors. Um, you know, Gomes did a great job of getting that face off into a position where we could recover it. You know, Selleck was strong on the puck and won the battle to get it down. Gomes went to the net, McFarland went to the net, and usually we say good things happen. I mean, uh, both goalies played well. You know, yeah. I thought Carlson played really well from them. We, we kind of joked around, we knew a six foot Swede goalie was gonna win tonight. We just didn't know which one, and <laughs> fortunately it was ours. Yeah, I mean, every win is huge along the way. We have to put a run together. We can, you know, the whole month of January, we were win one, lose one, you know, and now we've kind of continued that stretch. And now we have to start putting some back-to-back -back wins together uh, to get ourselves back in the hunt. But Rockford was two points ahead of us, uh, so we've caught them. And now it's, you know, now it's going into Houston for a big game on Monday. Oh, it's huge. I mean, the, the energy that it brought, you know, we've talked in the past about it's like that extra 10%. You know, they ask a, a hockey player to give 110%, and that enables that. You know, the guys feed off that, and they were kind of waiting for this place to explode, and I'm glad they were able to do that. Well, you know what? Um, Spurs Sports Entertainment, it's a, it's a first-class organization, you know, from the top on down, and, you know, they do things the right way, you know, from, how, from the jerseys, which came out fantastic, to getting the coaches' ties for charity, and, you know, and, and the way they Publis, uh, publicize this game. It, it's it's first class from get go to the end, and I'm glad there a lot of people got exposed to hockey that wouldn't normally. And we, like you said, we're able to raise a lot of money for an exceptional cause, and you know we're looking forward to doing this for years to come.